Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you the actual prices for Starlink. Now, these seem to go up and up every year because I started with 150 and now it's up to 189 and it hasn't been that long. So just the year before, it was 170 so it has gone up. I hope it doesn't go too, too up. Regardless, right now, what I pay with roaming is 189 Roaming means I can go anywhere within the country. It does say international travel. But even I'm confused with that because I haven't used it internationally. There is global roam and that means international, global. So I am not 100% sure if those $540 makes a huge difference with just roaming because it does tell you international travel as well. Anyways, that said, most people will choose residential, which is 140 or roaming so you guys can just move around freely that doesn't mean that let's say you guys live in a house that's residential you set it up there and then maybe in a few years or after a few months you move somewhere else you guys can still keep residential you just have to um do it again okay so you have to change location you don't have to choose roaming if this is your case for me roaming i use that because i go camping everywhere so i move around a lot and that's why but I only use it for that purpose. And you can pause that. That's the difference with roaming. You guys can actually pause that service and activate it whenever you want. So it does go on for the full month. So even if you're just gonna use it for a few few days, it's gonna charge you for the month, okay? Um, for residential, you can't just pause it anytime. And then you have these other things. So you might have seen online that they advertise $70 a month and all that stuff. It seems cheap. Well, that's because they're only selling you very, very minimal amount of gigs. So that's 50 gigs for $70. I'm saying that's very little because it is. I mean, I pay uh, for my cell phone plan. It's uh, $34 and I get the same thing, uh, 50 gigs. So this is more expensive. Obviously, this satellite, so it's a different thing. You don't need your phone to be working for this to work. This is satellite, okay? So if you go somewhere that you have no phone signal, this will because this is satellite. You guys can look at the map to see where it doesn't cover and it covers a bunch of places. Anyways, so right now if you guys have uh, Roam Unlimited, that's what I choose. So I can use as many gigs as I need. Uh, obviously there's limits. I haven't hit that limit myself. And then there's Global Roam. We have Roam 10 gigs. I can see them advertising this too. <laughs> saying, hey, for 15 bucks, you could have this, but it's only 10 gigs. And then you have these other options where it's uh, priority subscriptions, global priority. So you guys can just add those on. Those are just to get faster speeds than others because you will get priority. Anyways, right now, these are the plans. This is how much it costs. Let me just show you where this is available because I was just talking about that. So if you go to the Starlink website, that's where you guys can actually check out where it's available. So everything that is this light blue, it's going to be available. Wait list would be everything else and then coming soon. And there's places that it's just never going to be available or just for now. But usually this means never, especially those areas that you guys see on the map. So that means if you're traveling all these places, you're going to be okay. I have seen that even before when I was technically in the wait list, I would still get speed, but not, well, I would still get signal, but just not high speeds. So that's my experience when I was somewhere that it was on wait list. I can't speak that right now. If you're on wait list or coming soon, I'm not 100% sure if you're gonna get signal there, okay? So Bolivia, for example, it's coming soon. I would assume that you guys would still get stuff because everywhere else it's available. So it'd be kind of weird that you guys don't get any signal there. And uh, in these places, on the other hand, yeah, that's that's harder. Because if all of this is on coming soon, I would assume there's just no signal there. So that said, most of you are watching this because you are in the US. US, you're all covered. And if you're thinking about Starlink, this is basically for those of you who go to a place where you have no cell phone signal or hey, hey, some plans for your cell phones just don't have unlimited um, internet or it's just not fast enough. 
or your unlimited internet is capped at a certain point anyways, so this would be the way to go. Now when I travel, there's places where there's just no cell, cell phone signal, and that's why I use this. Plus, like I mentioned before, my cell phone plan only has 50 gigs, and that's why I pay only $34. So that's why I use Starlink. I bought Starlink directly from right here, starlink.com. You guys can buy it from several other places nowadays. And if you guys go to the website of Starlink and take a look at the prices, it's not that great what it tells you right away because it does tell you right here, Rome, $70. Well, it's, yeah, it's starting from $70. They could even say starting from $15, I guess. But yeah, that's not the actual price of what you are actually gonna go ahead and use this. So right now I'm actually gonna activate it again because it's summertime, so we're gonna be traveling around. There is business as well, which is a little bit more expensive and you do get priority. So I have done videos before on the actual speed that you guys get. And this year, who knows if it got better. I wouldn't say they would get worse, although if there's more people technically using Starlink, it should get worse. <laughs> so let's hope it hasn't gone down. I think the average speed that I got last year was about 60 megabytes, which is good enough. But for those of you who do gaming and um, wanna maybe stream gaming, that's nowhere near what you guys need. It's gonna be lagging the whole time. And I did do that. I actually did last summer. If you look at any of my streams in my channel of uh, Fortnite, I did Fortnite. Um, I just wanted to check it out and see if it works. I can stream it. And I was able to stream. It was laggy. It was very hard to play. Died every single round. But that said, I was able to do it. Obviously, to do that, you need to have nothing, nothing around you. So no trees in the way of your satellite, nothing like that, then you guys are gonna get the best speed possible. That way you're only gonna be able to stream something. But anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like, thank you.